Not so the onset of 2019, uh, I know looking back, it's been an action-packed year for me. How has it been for you? Uh, I don't know. I've been in the air more than on the ground. Uh, lots of travel. Um, I think um, A, uh, existing offices itself of ours, uh, we added people. Um, we were changing uh, some of the approach uh, to our business. And then newer offices, we decided, okay, let's expand. Um, uh, and we added about 15 odd people uh, towards the last part of the year. But that itself, I think, had was probably three months of effort before that in terms of deciding that, yes, we should, what type of people we should uh, recruit, uh, where should we get them from. Then we ran a day-long uh, assessment center uh, to figure out how we should interview, what sort of uh, things we should test people on. Again, first time we were sort of trying to get a big influx of people. Uh, and once they were sort of shortlisted, then the whole sort of uh, work of getting back to saying what exactly will be delivered to them in an induction program, who else should conduct it. I think one of the big learnings that came during that time, and that is sort of hopefully something we'll take forward in 2019 in a big way, is for people within our organization to work in teams and, uh, you know, cross-functional. Um, sometimes the person in charge is not necessarily the most senior person and everybody else needs to follow and say, yeah, this is what needs to get done. Uh, and yeah, we'll make mistakes. But, you know, the good thing is that if you are cross-functional people, uh, people who are committed to a, to an objective, uh, then that's great. I think in any every team, as long as there was clarity of objective, then I think you can expect that people will deliver. Uh, most often teams fail because, you know, they don't know what they're doing and why they're doing it. So that classical story of, you know, am I putting a brick in the wall or am I building that one is, is, is the big difference.